Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of our Friday Gear Deep Dive. Um, and thanks so much for joining us. We started doing these each week during the coronavirus pandemic when the shop was closed, um, but they've become really popular and we really enjoy doing them. So even though we're phasing into reopening, we're gonna keep doing these um, as long as you guys keep watching them. And uh, really the main goal of these deep dives is to highlight some products in the shop and some gear that we carry that sometimes get overlooked. Um, like if you're in there just looking for a specific product um, or piece of gear, or if you're just browsing, um, but we don't want these things to go overlooked. So we want to highlight like one each week and it gives us a chance to showcase some of these, tell you how they work, tell you how they stack up against the competition and also, you know, how they might in some cases make you a better diver and improve your time underwater. Um, and we love running these features live so we can answer your questions in real time, kind of like we would in a face-to-face -face encounter in the shop. And since we'll probably be social distancing for the foreseeable future, um, this is a really safe way to do this. Um, so we're really happy you're here. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, and for those of you who might already own the product that we're highlighting, and this week is the Sunto D5, um, please, um, let us know what your experience with it is. Like, what do you like about it? Or in some cases, what you don't like about it. Um, we'd love to hear that. So let's get going with this week's featured item, the Sunto D5, and Jonas is here to tell us about it. Hi guys. Um, so, yep, sorry, I, uh, I had to, I was kicked out of the room that we would normally film this in because we are hosting a new cat uh, and he's uh, a little ornery. So uh, to keep this, somewhat uh, critter disruptive free um, doing it up here. So um, with that said, I uh, wanted to talk with you guys about the Sunto D5. Um, uh, this came out a couple years ago, um, but it was revolutionary in the sense that it represents what we're now seeing in the dive industry where all what we believe is all dive computers are going toward. Um, this thing has a color LED screen. Um, it is rechargeable. So for the first time, you don't have to worry about battery changes. Um, and it also connects via Bluetooth to your mobile device. Um, this allows you to download your dives at the end of the day so you can review them. Um, uh, the, the latest thing that they just rolled out is they have added notifications. So any notification that pops up on your phone also pops up on your dive computer. So this is mine. Let me try to get used to <laughs> showing it on the screen here. Um, I'm going to take it off just to kind of run through some of the uh, features of the Sunto D5 here. Uh, sorry about the glare. Can't figure quite out how to get rid of that. Um, this thing has uh, several features. Um, so before we get into the guts of it, a uh, couple of things that are cosmetic is one, it has a easily removable band. Uh, you have these little toggle points right here where you can literally click that and take the band off like that uh, and then snap it right back into place. See if I can make sure I can make that look easy. There we go. Um, so change the band uh, based on what you wanted to, you know, how you're feeling. Uh, maybe you want to go out, you know, the, the default that it comes with is this nice silicone band, uh, super thick, uh, very stretchy. Uh, so that means it'll go on over a wetsuit uh, or underneath a wetsuit quite easily. Um, uh, nice, heavy-duty, really soft silicone band. Um, the bezel itself here um, is all stainless steel. Uh, I have the black and lime. Uh, this is the one that I've had for a while now. Um, and uh, it is coated in this, what they call PVD coating, uh, which makes it black. Um, you can still have the option to get uh, some that are silver, like this one. Um, totally your choice. Um, um, and the other cool thing about the, the, uh, the, the body itself here is on the back. You can see right here where the um, recharging cable attaches. Uh, it has little magnets on there, so it's very similar. Any of you who are Mac users, uh, in terms of it literally snaps on there and powers up. Um, 
battery life on this thing is roughly, um, they say, 6 to 12 hours diving. So that means that you've got about, if you're going to do more than six hours of diving in one day, you may want to go ahead and throw it on the charger in between. Um, if it's just in time mode, which is what you're seeing right here, um, I think it's about six days. Uh, so, you know, when I'm not diving and just wearing this as a normal watch and it's giving me my notifications now that I got a text or an email, um, this thing will go ahead and run on a char on a full charge for, uh, for, you know, basically a number of days. Um, when you are diving full disclosure, you know, and they understood this because this is essentially, um, if any of you are familiar with the Eon core, uh, the Eon core was a much larger unit, um, had a big, huge giant battery in it. They could only put so large of a battery into this thing, uh, and still allow it to give all the functions that it does like the bright, LED screen, uh, the uh, the digital compass, uh, which has a what's called a 90 degree tilt. So that means that unlike a normal compass that you have to hold it nice and flat, um, with this thing, uh, you can literally just sort of have it on your wrist, look up and see in which, which direction you're going. Um, so um, I love this thing. Um, uh, especially for me right now, as you can see, I've got these glasses that have this nice glare of my computer screen on there. Uh, when I'm diving, this thing is bright, big, giant numbers. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take it and put it into, so you can see what a regular, whoop, there we go, dive screen would look like. So this is your dive, uh, your dive mode. Uh, it's telling me I have 99 minutes of no deco time, which is great because I'm still at zero feet. Um, the other cool thing about this is that you can actually go ahead and customize how these displays appear. Uh, you have three screens. So again, try to get the glare off of this. Uh, dive mode, um, this is uh, another screen, and then this is the digital compass, which is asking me to calibrate right now, but I'm not gonna bother with that right now. Uh, calibration is really, really simple. Um, um, takes all but like 20 seconds of just wiggling your arm around. Uh, the last screen that I have on here is basically my gas. Uh, so down in here, if I am using the pod, which, where did I put it? Uh, here it is. Uh, the Sunto tank pod. Uh, this is uh, a effectively a transmitter that tells my dive computer how much gas is in my cylinder. Uh, it attaches to the first stage. Um, the previous iterations of these, which uh, many of you may be familiar with, and I certainly spent a lot of time with, um, was an older transmitter design, which simply communicated on a specific channel. Uh, it created some complications if you had two people who were on the same channel and you got close to each other on the dive. Um, so that was kind of an issue. But the new, the new uh, tank pod um, essentially communicates by linking the serial number. So you tell your dive computer what the serial number is of that tank pod, which is going to be unique to everybody. Um, and there's no way that you're ever going to get any sort of cross interference. Um, the, uh, let me see if I can show you just for fun. Um, if Holly or Christina or anyone who knows my mobile number wants to go ahead and send me a text, I can show you how the notifications look on, uh, on the, on the D five here. Um, so while we're waiting for a text to come through, um, what else can I tell you about this thing? Um, oh yeah, here we go. So now I get a little notification from Holly saying, Hey Jonas. So very cool, especially if you're wearing this during the day, you know, in between dives, um, you know, sitting at dinner, you can kind of look down instead of pulling your phone out and being that, that person at the, table. you can just kind of take a quick look at your wrist and see, Oh yeah. Uh, mom and dad are trying to call, um, but um, the other revolutionary thing, uh, for those of you who are familiar with the previous Sunto line of the D4 and D6, is that there were they are computers, and so they have software upgrades. The problem with the original ones was that you actually had to send it to a higher level uh, um, service center where they had software that, uh, that they could link to the computer and update the software. Um, we've always been able to, as a dive shop, been able to change the batteries because we are a, what's called a level one center. 
but we would have to send them to a level two or three or higher to uh, have that software upgrade. Uh, with this, um, it's done automatically through the software on your laptop or even on your mobile device uh, if you're not using, if you don't have the software installed on a laptop. Um, I'm going to show you, see if I can see how well this looks on the screen. I'm going to pull up here. Oh, that looks terrible. Uh, anyways, <laughs> um, the cool thing is that when I when the computer syncs with my phone and pulls the dives off, I get all of this information that shows up, and I can scroll down. I can see my dive profile. Um, uh, it's giving me my dive profile, uh, my gas consumption, uh, temperature ranges. Um, and then on the top screen that has all these little numbers, if you can kind of make that out at all, uh, it's telling me what my dive time was, my depth, um, uh, bottom temperature, average depth, um, surface time, you know, what type of gas I was diving, how much air I started with and how much air I ended with, uh, and what my gas consumption was. So all this data is stored on, um, on the dive computer and the software whether you're using it on your mobile device or on your laptop, um, uh, is all is all accessible. Um, you can still get the same information on. Let's see if I can navigate through here to my dive log. So, if I want to go ahead and access any dive log, uh, there we go. Can you kind of see that on the screen? There's my there's the information. Um, I can get even more information, more detailed information when the dive was done. Uh, I can scroll down, see, you know, get all this information, the dive time, depth, uh, temperature, what I was diving, and so forth, uh, my starting pressure, my final pressure. Um, all this stuff is also accessible right on the dive computer. Um, the um, the nice thing is having it on a on a mobile device is just you get a lot more of that information. Um, I see someone's asking if it works on Macs. Yes, it does. Um, um, it is a piece of software. If you're using it on the laptop, you're going to use CentOS. It was called DM5, and I'm going to share the screen in just a second and show you what that looks like. Um, but on a mobile device, it's simply an app. Uh, so whether you're on a Droid or on a on an iPhone, um, you simply download that app and uh, sync it with this um, uh, sync it with a dive computer. Uh, so let me see if I can do this without too much technical difficulties. I'm going to share my screen, and you're going to see what the DM5 software looks like, which is the essentially the desktop version. Um, and so let's see. Boop. I'm gonna share. All right. Hopefully everybody can see this. Um, this is what the software looks like. So if I look back on 317, um, uh, this was a dive that we did in um, in Bimini. Um, so you can see it was a rather long dive because this was diving with some of the great hammerheads, which is really cool. We basically dropped down to the bottom and sat there on the bottom and waited for the sharks to come around. Um, but all this information, details about the dive, uh, the profile, uh, the mix that you were diving, you can add notes in there. Um, you could you know, run a dive plan, uh, but in general, all this stuff is accessible. The cool thing is you can look at any point in the dive and see where you were and say, okay, well, there I was. So you can see the numbers changing on the right-hand side there, the time, the depth, the temperature, and uh, how much uh, gas was left in my cylinder. So, um, like I said, a lot of information there. Um, the... Um, uh, so, but you don't need this desktop uh, uh, software if you don't want. You can run it completely independently off of your phone. Um, super cool. Um, let me, I'm kind of running down my list. There's so many great things about this that I'm making sure that I, I hit everything on there. Um, oh, the other thing that it does is it actually has a vibration alarms. So it will actually vibrate. Uh, just like your phone, uh, but now it's on your wrist. And so um, 
that makes it really cool on a dive because, you know, sometimes if you're wearing a hood, you can't really hear what's going on. And if you hit your max depth or maybe your tank pressure is getting low, um, this thing will beep at you, flash, as well as vibrate on your wrist. So there's no, uh, no, no mistaking that it's trying to get your attention. Um, three different modes of diving. Uh, you can dive in air, nitrox, uh, and free dive. So for the free divers out there, uh, it has its own mode uh, specifically for free diving because, again, we're not too concerned about gas, you know, gas loading at that point. Um, um, and then the last thing that I wanted to mention is that, you know, Sunto has gotten kind of a, you know, within the industry has kind of gotten a bad rap throughout the years because they have used a algorithm to calculate your no decompression times uh, based on something called the RGBM. Um, and this was basically um, uh, something that caused people to say, oh, they're so conservative. We would very quickly point out that conservative is not necessarily bad, uh, especially as divers are concerned. Um, but they did recognize that there were some limitations to it. Uh, so this computer is now using a new piece of uh, uh, software uh, for their algorithm, which is called the, um, the Sunto Fused RGBM2. Um, long name, fancy name for basically saying this doesn't ding you uh, like the older models did. Um, if you are ascending a little faster than maybe you should be for a little bit, um, um, it also recalculates your your no fly time. Um, so with my older D6, uh, there were many times where I knew I had you know at least 18 hours before I got on a plane, but it was still giving me a no fly icon um and uh with this thing um yeah no by the time i you know i, I just had it on at, uh in mid-march there um you know flew the uh flew 18 hours or almost 20 hours later and um it had me clear to fly uh well before then so um they are still meticulous in their algorithm design so they are extremely safe um uh again little Side note, which I think every single computer manu manual contains, is that algorithms are based on, you know, our, our generalizations. So um, uh, based on your body chemistry, your your uh, uh, body, you know, your body mass makeup, all these things that could contribute to DCS, uh, you need to be aware of when using a dive computer. Um, but that said, um, you can also change the conservancy. So let's say you are maybe a little bit older. Um, maybe you've been bent before um, there or there's some reason, you know, um, why maybe a, a, a physician might recommend that you dive even more conservatively than others. Uh, you can actually change that that conservancy setting quite easily um, on the computer as well. Um, I think that pretty much hits everything that I have. Um, the other thing, uh, just to mention real quick, um, you know, it, it does come up a lot in terms of the battery life. I mentioned six to 12 hours. So on a dive trip for me, that just simply means I'm plugging this thing in uh, at the end of the day, along with my phone. Um, it's just, you know, it becomes a ritual. Uh, so it has a full charge uh, the start of the next day. Um, it has never run out of battery, even when we've been on liverboards doing five, some, you know, hour plus long dives. Um, and, um, yeah, no, I, I just, again, I can't say enough great things about it. Um, I love it. Um, and I think that's it. Any questions come up out there? Hey, uh, Jonas, there's not really any questions that, that I see, although, um, Ocean Clean El Salvador said, hey. joined us on Instagram. He said, hi from El Salvador. Hola. Um, <laughs> but does anyone else have any questions? This is amazing. Usually there's a lot more questions. Um, and obviously we will continue to answer your questions if you just want to post them in the comments. Um, after the live session and we'll, uh, oh, wait. Somebody does have a question. I see one there. Cindy is asking, how would you compare it to a Zoop Novo? Wow, um, good question. I would, uh, uh, so the, the Zoop Novo is, it's a great, uh, it's a great uh, simple 
dive computer. Um, uh, it, it doesn't have the digital compass that the, the D5 does. It doesn't have the LED screen. It's still using an LCD screen. Um, same, you know, similar software, uh, but it is using the older uh, RGBM, uh, which again is still very popular. Um, the way I would sort of put it is that the 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 yeah the Sunto Zoop is a great uh, sort of starter computer, um, but it lacks a lot of the features that that this has. Um, uh, now, full disclosure, the the Sunto Zoop retails for about you know right around three hundred dollars. Um, and uh, whereas this one, uh, since we're talking price, just so that nobody has sticker shock when they look them up, um, this one is, um, if you get the black, like mine, um, with the black PVD coating, uh, that is $929. Um, so not inexpensive. Um, the, the one that has the silver bezel uh, is $879 because they have to charge extra for the PVD coating. Um, the transmitter or the pod, um, as we have to get used to calling them because these are, this is the new generation. Um, the cool thing about these is also just a quick little note. See this little green bit there and that is actually illuminated when it is registering pressure. Uh, so you never have to guess as to whether or not, uh, it's working or not. If it's lighting up and green and blinking, then, uh, then it's good to go. You don't have to use this with the computer. Um, it's just an extra feature. All this does is it basically beams the pressure in your cylinder to your dive computer so you can see, look down on your computer and say, oh, I have, you know, 2,952 PSI in my, uh, in my cylinder. Um, so... I like it only because it does allow me to track my gas consumption. I can very easily go back through my logs and see how much air, like I showed you earlier, how much air I started with, how much air I ended with. Um, now, this also, uh, this little guy here, um, like I said, attaches to your first stage. So if you don't own your own regulator, you can always get this later. Um, the This thing retails for $440. Um, but, um, as we've been doing with all of these sessions is that we are offering a special on these. Um, it's just good until, um, Holly can correct me if I'm wrong, but it's just good until, uh, the end of Saturday. Um, uh, it's not being sold on our online store. You'll need to actually email us at info at blueplanetdc.com. Let us know you're interested in one, and we will basically save you $350 if you purchase the D5 and the pod at the same time. Um, uh, someone's asking, oh, how many buttons does it have? Yes, it has three buttons. Um, it's very sort of intuitive navigation um, in the sense that you press and hold this button, and you can now enter your dive settings. You now have a, you use the top and bottom button to scroll down, scroll up. Uh, you can go ahead and if you want to enter, let's say in this case, you know, you want to change your gas mix, you simply press that button. You can go ahead and make any changes in there. To get, to go back, you simply press and hold the button. And if you keep pressing it, it'll take you all the way back to the starting menu. So very intuitive. I mean, it, it'll take you all but like barely a day of diving with it before you know it inside and out and can navigate around very easily. Very cool. I'll also say that the size of the D5 is much smaller than the Zoop. Um, so you can essentially, you can wear it as a watch all the time versus just a diving computer. Yep. And that's a huge advantage. So and, there it is on, on my wrist. Yeah. And I know the Zoop doesn't, um, um, doesn't get um, emails or your text messages yep. as well. And it looks like Cindy's asking for the email address. I'm just going to type it in the comments for everyone. It's info at blueplanetdc.com. And I, it would help if I spelled that correctly. Um, and yeah, so that's, a, that's an amazing offer. 
Um, it's something that just doesn't happen every day. So, and yes, you are correct, Jonas. It is until tomorrow, tomorrow night. So Saturday night, midnight, um, is when that offer goes poof. So I don't see, I see any other uh, questions. Oops. Oh yeah. Okay. There it is. Yep. And, and yes, Cindy, yes. Yeah. You can turn off the notifications. Um, yeah, you can turn off the notifications. Um, the, uh, I'll be honest, full disclosure, um, they just came out with this firmware update, the software update that allowed the notifications after I did that trip to Bimini in March, uh, before this whole uh, uh, crisis happened and shut down. Um, so I am pretty much 99.9% .9 certain that this thing is not going to go ahead and bug you on a dive. But again, if you're off at dinner or just don't want the notifications to pop up, uh, again, you simply turn notifications off on the dive computer. It's it's um, uh, very easy. I have played around with that. Cool. And I just checked the Instagram. I don't see anything there. Um, awesome. Well, if no one else has any questions, and again, if you do have questions, about this, please feel free to add them to the um, to the comments, and we are happy to field anything, um, all you know, at any point. And Cindy, you're not; those questions are not pesky. They're really helpful, actually, at um, explaining things that we take for granted and might not see as you know. We're like, oh, this does this all the time, um, and other people might not know about that. So, um, I think with that, we'll go ahead and wrap up. Jonas, anything else about the D5 you want to talk about? I think you covered like all the bases. It's a pretty amazing uh, computer. And would you tell like how long you how long have you had yours? Probably about two years. Okay, and about how long would do you think they should last? Um. 10, 15, longer? I don't know. Um, okay. Yeah, they're, yeah. Yeah, I mean, with, me, them, with them being new, it's 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 hard to tell. Uh, yeah. But they're extremely well built. Um, Sinto does an amazing job of engineering. So I think they would be around for a long time. Yeah, and that's Sinto's main thing, right? Dive computers. Like, that is... They actually make they actually make uh, all sorts of uh, uh, fitness uh, uh, computers. So for running, hiking, climbing, and diving. But all they make so, are basically computers. Computers. So it's like their special thing. If anyone's going to know a computer, yep. it's Sunto. Awesome. Yep. Cool. Well, thank you everyone who joined the conversation today. Thank you, Jonas, for going through all that stuff. It's awesome to hear everyone's questions. Um, and yeah, that makes it extra special for Jonas. So he's not just there like feeling like he's chatting with a new cat. What's the new cat's name? Loki. Loki, awesome. Congratulations on your new addition. Um, and as I'm just gonna try to repeat, um, there's special if you get, if you buy the D5 between now and tomorrow night, um, you can get the pod, which which is a $400 value for $99, which is amazing. So essentially, is that correct? $99 or is yep. it? Yeah. Yeah. So yep. we're essentially saving you like 300 or I, I thought, um, Heather, it's a $350. It's a, it's a, mm -hmm. it's a decent amount of cash. Um, yep. So reach out to us. The email is there. Um, the phone number is on our website as well. So I'll put the details in the comments afterwards too. Um, and then next week we are going to talk about big blue dive lights. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Dive lights and strobes or just lights? Just Mostly lights. Just lights. Okay. Awesome. Um, so if you have any, um, dive lights are something you should always have. Like everyone should have at least one dive light on them. Um, so is this, this is going to be really interesting next week, next Friday, join us at noon live again. Mm -hmm. Um, and we'll look forward to seeing you then. And I think that's it. Thanks, so Thanks everyone. Thank yep. Bye.